So I'm working on a uh, tire step. And it didn't quite fit my tire. It was too big. Too wide and I need to have it flat. So I drilled a new set of holes just now on these two. And the, wasn't, the bar wasn't sliding in too good. So I felt back in there and I could feel garbage in all these, all the other holes. And so yeah, we're camping again. And uh, well, for gold mining, I've got my metal detectors, I got some pans, and I got picks and shovels and that kind of stuff. But we're not here mining, we're uh, here at Fort Stevens State Park on the northwestern tip of Oregon and uh, anyway yeah I'm working on the trailer yes yeah, so we have a trailer now we're running in a, in a casita it's a casita Liberty Deluxe it's got a supposedly a king-size bed in there and it, it really would but we put a queen-size mattress in and we'll go through that so we're no longer in the tent Karen and I and we've been doing a lot of vacation and traveling and you know, not doing a lot of video, and this is, in fact, my first video in probably a year. You know, well, maybe not that long. I think I turned the video camera on last year. <laughs> I have a lot of videos saved up, but I just never put them together. So anyway, yeah, I wanted to do this, um, how I actually put water in the casita. And what I'm doing right now is just fixing the step. I've got this, and then these go into here. Let's see, one of these is easy, one of them is hard. I think that's the hard one. So I had to shorten this up so it fit on my tire. I drilled out both sides. It's funny, you know, neither Karen nor I have shot any videos. And she walked over and just do a little bit of hiking. And she comes back and she's talking into her camera. Here I am talking in my camera. We never talked beforehand, so we're both making videos. At the same time, as usual, we seem to think of things exactly the same. Um, it's been almost two years now we've been married. And, uh, yeah, one year, 11 months, and 14 days or whatever. So, yeah, almost two years. And we really are just an amazing couple. It just worked out really good. Just amazing. Much better than anything I've ever experienced before. So, yeah, you know my videos. I'm personable. I talk and just like to be myself, you know. And, uh, oh, yeah, we'll get back to it. Get a bigger hammer, huh? You buy store bought stuff and you gotta re drill it yourself. I got this off of Amazon. It's a hitch mate. And it's for you put it over a spare tire so you can get in there and work on it. And it works. Just gotta line the holes up. I don't have to pound it in. So there it is, all fixed. This is a, this goes on the back of the spare tire. And you can, it's adjustable, you can put it on this hole, you know, so you can raise it up higher or make it lower if it goes down here. And uh, folds up flat, fits in my storage box. It just folds out. Yeah, that'll work. It's nice and level. Beforehand, when it was out here, it was sitting down and the step wasn't level. So I just made it as tight as it would go on the back of the tire, which is what you want. And then, this sits on here. 
when I'm out in the woods and then when I'm gravity feeding to have to fill my tank, this one inch hose fits right into here. It's the perfect size. You know, I mean, it fits perfectly in there at one inch. It's a one inch opening, so it barely fits, but it slides in and it works good. And then this is the, uh, the big buddy siphon. And you can hear the ball in there. Okay, so all it does is push the ball up and down. And it, uh, so yeah, it creates a siphon. It's just a regular valve. It's a regular check valve. You know, just like you use on your gold dredges, only it's a smaller, it's a one inch, like for a small pump. Okay, so I gotta fill it up. Then I got the hitch made on there, and I got eight gallons of water. I just wanna show you how to do it. Yeah, it looks simple, and it really is. You know, this goes into your tank. This goes into this tank down here. Make sure it's clean. Okay. Can you see the bottom one? No, not really. If I lower it down a little bit, you won't be able to see my face, but... Oh yeah, you can see it there. Okay. So what's going on is... You just pump it to start it going. But you gotta keep pumping it even after it starts going to get all the air out, okay? It's going. You can hear it. You can hear the ball going tack, 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 tack. So it's filling the tank up right now. That's it, simple siphon. Big gulp, the big one with a one inch hose. Uh, this is the best for filling up when you're boondocking like we are, we're at Camp Disappointment. Actually, that's the name, right on the beach. Cape Disappointment. Oh, Cape Disappointment, all right. Still work, yeah, we're at Cape Disappointment, right on the beach, looking at the waves, looking at the ocean, boondocking 100%. Had solar yesterday, was running five amps off the solar suitcase 5.7 6 amps and so today we're at half low on water so I'm gonna put half tank of water in fill it back up and that's it it's empty just that fast so I left it like this talked a little bit so you can see how fast it emptied this eight gallons of water into there little bit in the bottom because I don't you know I leave it up maybe a quarter inch half inch or whatever but how's that you know I mean we're done and what was that a minute and a half maybe not a nothing at all so yeah that's uh, filling up here uh, clean water tank you know with eight gallons you know with, oh, we only have a 15 gallon tank on the casita so it's only half and so eight gallons gives us a half a tank we were just a little bit below a half a tank and I can tell that because I measured it and put a half inch, a half tank mark on a, on my tank inside the door. So Yeah, you can buy different strips and stuff that tell you how many gallons you got left, but oh, you know me. I got a little, you know, black marker and drew a line on the middle and put half on it. And if I can't figure it out from there, then I guess I'm too old to know what I'm doing. So I better quit while I'm ahead. All right, so you can see my half tank mark on there, just about dead center. And to the left is the simple siphon 
big gulp that I have, you know, with a six foot hose or thereabouts. It's just one inch poly hose, you know, the clear poly tube you can get at any hardware store. And then I also have a stainless steel um, food grade clamp. Just because, you know, they're about the same price as regulars, you might as well go food grade because you're, you know, it's for your, your water, that you're drinking water and everything. And if you look up above it, you can see where the water line is. That's why I don't put in one of those, you know, gallon by gallon markers because I know it's a half a tank. I got 15 gallons, or I have seven and a half gallons. It was obviously below a half when I put eight gallons in and uh, that's where it ended up at, you know. And then, I'll just pan back and show you our new trailer. And that's it, the whole thing, the casita. From front to back. And so yeah, we've gone from being tent people to now we're camping in the trailer. Yeah, so Karen and I have just been enjoying life, you know, with our little trailer. We've been traveling all over. We picked, we picked it up in Missouri in January of all times of year to go back east. And uh, we drove over 80 and came back, you know, down into Texas to Little House Customs and had Larry Gamble and the people there work on it. And we got uh, shocks put on it and uh, the uh, the spare tire removal kit, which has got the, uh, you know, the regular two inch hitch on the back with the spare tire for it. Then I got the extended hitch on there for the, uh, the box I have on the back. And he did a lot of work on it for, you know, different things. And we would have had more if he would have had different parts, but he was sold out on some of the parts that we could have, would have liked to have, like the, the bigger door for the, uh, for the water container area, which is also my toolbox, as you can see. I just, you know, some people go with a 25-gallon tank, you know, for more water storage, you know, and I just, I couldn't see that. You know, we ended up buying a used 2010. It's got the 15-gallon tank, which is what I wanted because I want the storage in there for my tools. I mean, I had to have a place to put my levels, my my water lines, you know, obviously my simple siphon, and I got all the hammers and everything else in there that I'm going to need to do whatever it takes to uh, level the casita or fix the broken pipe. I got pipe wrenches in there, I got a jack in there. It's a huge storage compartment and they actually have a bigger door you can get put on, but he was out of those at that time. Um, so yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. We've, we've gone all over. We went back to Missouri in January and picked it up and spent three weeks coming back to California. Then we went to the miners rally and had a little fun crossing the creek going there with our uh, little Mercedes ML pulling the trailer and uh, so yeah we got the Hummer or we got the little Mercedes then the Mercedes we use it's a little tow vehicle mostly because it's a diesel and we're still getting 20 miles a gallon with diesel and it, it but it's got a 7,000 pound towing capacity so this little 2,500 pound trailer is nothing to it and we just go you know and it goes up hills I can pass whoever I want to pass it doesn't slow me down a bit when you got a 7,000 pound tow vehicle towing a 2,500 pound trailer, maybe 3,000 with all our gear. But anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. We've kind of upgraded from trailers to the Casita this year. We're still using the Camp Chef Pro 90, of course. We made pizza last night and we're getting really good at making pizza, you know. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. You know, I just wanted to, this is a little, basically a review on the uh, Simple Siphon Big Gulp because I'm so impressed with it. As you can see, in what was it, a minute, minute and a half? You guys can time it if you want. I mean, that tank was empty and that's an eight gallon tank, you know. This is, uh, I don't know, that's October 2015. I don't know what day it is, I don't even care. I know it's Monday. It's like the first or second Monday in October, so figure it out if you really need to know. Anyway, little update. You guys have a good one.